right? So you can see everything clearly? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, do you still have the... The screen... Wait, was the screen count there before? The screen count? Yeah. Yeah, yeah don't worry about it. Uh, I didn't, didn't see it. Well, he's not here right now, so... Rip, rip everything. <laughs> anyway. So I need to count down for them, and then we'll go. So... Wait, we're doing... We're doing any percent, not low percent, are we? Yeah, I'm gonna change that after. Okay, okay, we're getting our countdown. Sure. All right. I was gonna say, like, wait a minute. I don't know. I extra don't remember <clears throat> anything about this. We should have started. Oh shit! That one, that was fast. Good luck. You too much. Yeah, real life. We'll see how bad this is. <laughs> oh well, heck! All right. Should be fun. Yo, what's poppin', gamers? This I. Is... Lori, what? Did this to me. Why would you do well, this? Well, you know what? You're getting an advantage. What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, what happened? Look at this hacking madman. Okay, oh so no! I didn't realize Moon which Moon color is using a me. super epic cheat code. What'd you get? Which oh only makes uh, you do not get invisible like, specter. I did. Black pixels visible. I don't know what the fuck. Why <laughs> you decided to do this? Are, are, do you want to restart uh, this? Or I no, he, he I got really this. Himself. So like you can see a lot of, in a lot of these screens like. You literally cannot see where you are. I'm like, so the, mad. When he's against a black background. Right, oh, well, even my dash attack aside, thing is backwards. Yeah, both of our dudes wait, what? are making... Or uh, my, my dash attack thing. It's, it's like black, right? It's, yeah, it's black, and, so uh, I can't see it. Okay, it should be <laughs> somewhat. Oh my god. The stage is uh, pretty straightforward. Nothing too scary. There's a couple of like really small minor things you can... Make, oh uh, my god, this is the stupidest thing! Like you see, it, this screen is actually very difficult to, to do really well. The one that Amps just went through. Oh god. Get through this dirt mountain. Wait, I'm gonna get extra help. Mumu just, just went this. through uh, the I'm ashamed. Just like a straight line through. That's like the the most basic way of going through there, although it's not the fastest. If you want to do that screen oh like god. really fast, it's actually the stupidest thing ever. I can't even make it up this freaking like, ledge! He's <laughs> having uh, Okay. I guess he's oh, getting Oh man, Tinker's gonna suck. He's super scared because I have to change. Like the, I have to change all my strats now. Uh, amps. I remember when I did it. That was like the worst part of the run. Was like Plague and Tinker. Slash up there in the next screen. Oh my god, I gotta get this. Amps was actually skull. like really low on health. He got like, he got real hurt. Uh, this boss, uh, Black Knight, he ain't, like, too big of a deal. Oh, it looks like Moomoo Moo just completely bit the dust thing. I don't know what he died on. But... Alright. So, what Amps is gonna do against Black Knight here, he's gonna try to slash him basically a certain amount away from the corner so that he can definitely loop him with a air slash right now. So, he's pretty good. He'll try to dash away at the very end there, but he reaches, uh, like a HP left. But uh, yeah, you got him. Let's see how. Oh, Moo Moo. I... That, that looked pretty clean, that slash through the Beatles. Although it's kind of hard to tell because I can barely see what it is. It's probably gonna have a real hard time timing slashes here because of the. Again, like, you can only see his outline here. This background is uh, not so great to get a visual indicator of like when to slash. Uh, oh, that was pretty good. Cool. Alright, so second stage they're doing is Fly Machine. Uh, they're doing Fly Machine because uh, it's a... It's a very vertical stage where you don't really get the... Uh, you don't really get as much benefit from the rail nail which you'll be getting later on. And it's also the stage that gives you uh, quite a bit of money and also quite a bit of red skulls without green tools. Looks like Moo Moo almost forgot the uh, red skull there and he. Oh. He didn't get the second gem. Which might 
actually cause him some issues uh, whenever he wants to buy the rail mail, but Amp's taking a death to the spikes there. Oh, he actually slashed the first checkpoint, actually. Oh yeah, uh, flying machine is actually kind of scary, uh, at least uh, when it's starting out, because you do actually have to, in order to get enough gold to get the rail mail after the stick, you do have to slash away a couple of the checkpoints. And he, he died in a very odd place, actually. Um, uh, Amps did. He, I believe he, like, turned around uh, too early, and then he to the spuddles. See, I'm gonna move here. Also taking or taking another free health upgrade here, just because he's a. Well, I would say he's a scared baby, but uh, considering what kind of horrific cheat code he's playing on, I don't exactly play him too much. And if I get the then he dropped it here for amps. And he only got one bomb to hit. And you really uh, want those bombs to hit the Dini Dropper because they deal like a ridiculous amount of damage to it. Uh, funnily enough, uh, Mumu not too far behind despite uh, taking all the extra health upgrades and uh, having this horrific cheat code to deal with. Soft scroller is pretty. I like the soft scroller actually. It feels like a nice little break from all the cursed nonsense you have to do. Uh, but near the end of it, you do actually need to get ahead of it a little bit, otherwise uh, you're gonna miss. You're gonna lose time to destroying the checkpoint at the very top. So yeah, th this really is a really good stage for gold because uh, I mean, you just get an entire checkpoint for free right there, basically no time loss. Of course, if you die after this, it's uh, real bad news, and there is certainly uh, if you're not paying attention, you will die in these next couple of screens. They can be very treacherous. This screen in particular that Amp is on is pretty scary. Not, uh, if you, you can tr you can really go for some spicy stuff on that screen. You can go like under uh, the last platform there, but uh, Amps opting for the safer strat there. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, this screen is uh, unbelievably notorious for being possibly the worst thing imaginable. You have to deal with three Jawas, which oh my goodness, yeah, you just see the, like the screen is just murder. Luckily, you don't really need to, to uh, destroy the checkpoint there, because it's uh, relatively like a low gold checkpoint to take. And, uh... Oh no. It looks like, um... Oh man, Amps might have a bit of a problem in trying to get to reach this gold. I don't think... Yeah, he's not going to be able to. Moo Moo taking out uh, Propeller. Meantime, and uh, didn't really see how Moomoo Moo did it against Propeller, but I'm gonna assume he, you know, just getting through. Really, if I was a Moomoo right now, I'd just be, uh, I'd just be okay with like anything. <laughs> to be quite honest, I just, I, if I was playing this character, this category, this Chico, I would just want it to end immediately. So, as long as he's not, you know, dying left and right, I think we'll be fine. Oh man, Amp's dying to Propeller. Oh, he broke the checkpoint before because he, uh, I believe he was short on gold. And, oh god, please don't die on the screen. Yeah, if, um, if you don't get enough gold for the rail mail after this stage, you're in a really bad, bad spot. So, he really, really doesn't want to die again. So, it does look like he will be able to get back to his gold here. 
Uh, as long as he gets the second screen. Alright, decent first phase right there. Oh, even getting the extra hit at the end there. Oh, okay. Alright, getting his gold for engaging Propeller Knight in Phase 2. Uh, phase 2 can be a little bit tricky because um, you get these platforms and they spawn in the random spot and they can really mess you up. Oh man, that's really unfortunate. Yeah, those bombs really messed him up and he's going to have to... Uh, yeah, he's going to have to restart from the strike point. He doesn't really have any other options at this point. He just has to uh, deal with this. Meanwhile, Mumu going through Explodatorium. Now, he did get Railmail, which is the most important part. And right here, he is, uh... I believe Mumu has an issue where, like, he his controller is, like, jank as heck. And it just pauses randomly, which is... Uh, might have seen a couple times. Right, Amps fighting Color Knight again. His money bags are actually pretty high up, but it, it should be fine. You should be able to get them, get him back here. And he has to. Go. Oh no, he's he's in a real rough spot because oh uh, yeah, he's gonna miss out on that gold unfortunately. So I believe I believe this is right. If you're Shovel Knight and you beat a boss and you still have gold bags on screen, you'll get them automatically at the end of the fight. However, if you're literally any other character, you get no such luck for whatever reason. So, that gold that was hanging at the end there was lost forever. Moomin making his way through... Explodatorium. Looking pretty good, actually gets the whiff on the rat there. If you do hit the rat with the, uh, Judgment Rush there, you... It'll actually, like, blow up on you, which is bad. Alright, so... It does look like Amps will need to get some extra gold here to, um, I actually forget how much the real fail costs, to be quite honest. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if he has enough money. I think it's like, if I remember correctly, it's like 9,000 something. But he's gonna play with the dog? Oh no. <laughs> Yo, he's gonna play with the dog to get that money. I think will get enough from this actually to oh no he won't if I if I remember correctly if it is 9,000 uh, for the rail mail but we'll see here I actually don't remember oh my god he barely <laughs> Man, he barely, uh, eight, okay, it's 8,400, alright. My bad, I haven't played this in, like, a billion years, so I don't remember anything. But yeah, man, like, you, uh, I love the dog, but you never, you never want to be in, in such a situation where you rummage through your dog for loose change. It's a bad place to be. Alright, so Mumu just went through the first memory here. Which is, uh... The stage you go through after you finish two, like, main stages. If I remember correctly, I don't remember anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, that was saucy. Mumu doing the, uh... What the hell is that thing called? The... Wait, no, that's the other... Never mind. I got mixed up again. I was thinking of the odd rush, but that's another thing, I believe. Alright, so Mumu going through uh, the Lost City here, which is probably the most difficult stage in this entire category, in my opinion. There are a lot of small, small things you can do to shape time on this stage that are, like, unbelievably difficult. Uh, let's see what Mumu does here. 
Yeah, I think I'm <laughs> Oh god, I can't even see. I, you can't even see what time on the stage because there's a lot of black backgrounds. God. Yeah, I don't even know what's happening right now on the screen, dude. Very inconsiderate of him of, of doing this. Cause I, I literally cannot tell like what the hell is happening. See Amps taking a death there. And uh I don't think he uh he break Oh yeah, that's yeah, it's gotta hurt. He I believe he died past uh breaking that checkpoint. You never really, you never want to die after you've broken a checkpoint like that. It's really a huge time loss. Yeah, the section that Amps just went through is uh, very difficult. The, um, the rat cycle, if you want to get a really good one, you have to really know what you're doing. going through oh my goodness he did the really swag stuff that is for mad people only I can't believe he did that oh he's doing the clip oh he got it dude nice oh god he okay he's fine <laughs> I'm surprised he went for that and it went as well as it did actually very impressed right, let's see how he does mole here looks like he's doing all right I think, he, yeah, he missed a couple hits there. He might, okay, he didn't uh, burrow underground there for the last phase there, which is pretty much all you want. <laughs> Alright, Amp's getting the whiff on Rat there, making it through the last section of the stage. Mumu getting the uh, upgraded Bionic Soul, aka the Basket. Amps fighting Plague right now. Looks like he's getting a decent-ish pattern. Alright, so we got a damage boost there, which isn't the end of the world since he got him in the right direction. Alright, hopefully he doesn't get another teleport. Oh, damn it, he got another one. Uh, I believe at the end there he actually got a double, uh, sometimes when he, he does his last spawn against, uh, he does his last spawn on phase three, he, he'll spawn like two clones instead of one, and sometimes he'll spawn those two clones like on top of each other so you can kill them both at the same time, it's pretty nice. Alright, well that was happening, Mumu defeated Breeze, or the edgy boy. <laughs> And now he's on to Iron Well, which is a pretty interesting stage to deal with, with this character. I'd say it's not too bad. Gets a damage roost off the uh, snail, crab, crawfish. I don't know what those things are. I never bothered to look it up. Uh, oh, that was a bit jank for Mumu. You can use uh, you can use the basketball there to kill that middle tentacle, but it's kind of weird to do to do it right. So I believe at this point, Amps is um. One stage behind Mumu. And should be entering uh, Lost City here shortly. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh. Hmm. This is a problem. 
This is a problem for me. Uh, I'd probably be screaming bloody murder if I was in this, this position right now. As the literal entire background is black. And he just lost a bunch of money. Uh, at this stage, losing money isn't the biggest deal because you've got most of the upgrades you want, but you still want uh, uh, darkness upgrades eventually, so. Uh, you can make do uh, pretty decently later on without missing like a couple of them, but uh, that is something to keep in mind. So, I would commentate like specifically on stuff that's happening on Moon Moon's screen, but like I don't really know. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's cool. Alright, Amp's looking like doing pretty decent on uh, Lost City here. We're getting a weird pause there. Amps gets through uh, that room, which looks really scary. Oh, okay. Amps is doing really well on some, some of the screens that Amps just went through. Amps just threw the uh, Bounding Soul there, and for some reason, if you throw the Bounding Soul there at, at that specific angle, it like recoils into you, which is like a little odd uh, interaction there. That is uh, kind of odd. Oh, he. Ah, oh, damn, that's a shame. He was. Um... It looks like he was trying to, like, rail on that block a little bit. He didn't look like he lose, lost that much time, though. We have Mumu here fighting Treasure Knight. Treasure Knight, probably the easiest boss uh, to deal with for this character. Uh, there's a really good setup at the beginning. And, oh man, Am's taking a death. He was trying to uh, do a slash on the green blocks there and then slash the lantern, but he turned around too late. Sick, actually. The amps did. Really smooth looking. Looks like he was trying. Looks like Amps was trying to do the clip, but he. I think he, like, missed time this jump or something. Alright, Amps taking the last checkpoint there. That's a decent checkpoint to take. Amps can still make this? Yeah. He barely made it. He almost missed it. Yeah, you really don't want the uh, Mole Knight to actually go in this last phase there, because if, if he goes invincible afterwards, it's a, he does like a bunch of attacks to just take up the entire screen, and it's really difficult to deal with. Moomoo Moo just spamming Judgment Rush, because he <laughs> literally cannot see where he is. Oh god, goodness sake. Amps is going to have enough money here to upgrade his uh, Bounding Soul. But, um, I believe it, it kind of looks like he's low on money here right now. He might not uh, get da Darkness, or might not have enough money to get Darkness upgrades after Iron Whale. And Amps is on Dark Breeze now. Uh, beginning, this beginning seems a little bit shaky, but as long as he sh dies shortly after this teleport, he will be fine. Yeah, that's not too bad. Rigi is a very, very annoying boss to deal with if, you, if he doesn't uh, do what you want to in the very beginning. Alright, so Moomoo on Phantom Striker gets some really good hits at the beginning. Alright, so he... Uh... Alright, yeah, there you go. If I remember correctly, the... Uh... Yeah, three circles of health is a, is a good place to be for his last teleport if you want to finish him off there. So I'm missing the uh, damage boost off the middle platform there. Just one around. Mm 
Moo Moo entering Dream 2 where he has to fight the Shumler, <laughs> sorry, the Shield Girl, which is uh, very, very annoying. Depending on what pattern she gives you at the very beginning. She has, I believe, uh, like three different jump patterns or so. That's what she could do at the beginning. Oh, I didn't notice this before, but Mumu actually gets his like standard uh, character sprite uh, in these sequences. I, I didn't actually notice that before. Ooh, unfortunately, it looks like Amst died. Uh, looks like he lost quite a bit of time because of that. Alright, so Mumu finding Shield Knight here. Looks like he had a pretty decent start. Uh, no, actually, it's looking not so great. Yeah, she's gonna have to. Oh, there you go. Never mind. Oh, it looks like Amps died to the uh, spikes on the drop there, right before the checkpoint, <laughs> which is not a great place to die, actually. Fighting this big dumb fish with really dumb teeth. Teethalon, as he is called. And let's see how he does here. I think he's like, he's doing pretty stand. Oh no, that's, that's unlucky. So he like completely dodged it right there, which means the bounding souls couldn't do damage there when they uh, recoiled off the corner. But that's just kind of uh, what that boss does. Oh, Mumu dying to... Uh... Did it get squashed? It might have gotten squashed. Big fish here, the big green ugly fish. Uh, deals two damage to your amps. So if you can get hit twice in a row, you're freaking dead. You don't want that to happen. Uh, this section is. Uh, I, I really don't like the last room of uh, Iron Well because the. The, ro the rocket platforms actually can fire at uh, random rates. Uh, they can sp speed up like after they launch. What happened? All right, looks like a uh, pretty decent kill here for Amps. So, Mumu on the. Wait, is this... Yes, this is the first auto-scroller on Tinker Stage. Tinker Stage having, uh... Two really, really dang long auto-scrollers to deal with. Which makes it uh, unbelievably punishing if you die, like, right after. Which can happen, actually. No, Mumu, why are you doing this? Stop. <laughs> Look, it's alright, you don't need to show off anymore. It's fine. You don't need to, like, do this dumb thing. No! Stop! It's it's fine, we get it. Alright. All right, please don't die to sp okay, he's he's through. Actually he can still get squashed by this. Okay, he's fine. He is gonna skip that checkpoint. Uh which is usually not a big deal, but if you uh you can do a couple missteps here and die. Uh between that checkpoint and the next one. And, uh, oh yeah, he's gonna, yep, he's gonna go to the second auto-scroller with no checkpoints. So, if he, like, does some, no, don't do that, Moo Moo. This is a family-friendly stream, please don't do that. God damn it. 
people I have to deal with is unbelievable. Anyway. Uh, Alright, amps going through the dark room here. Uh, okay, yeah. He opted not to use a judgment rush there because it's... Like, if, if you do a judgment rush off that last skeleton there, it can be a real jank to tell, like, where exactly you're at. They just went up top and uh, decided to just rail there. Fighting Phantom Striker. Sought out for the Judgment Rush, get a couple of bouncies. Oh, he didn't actually get very many hits in, actually. Oh, this is, uh, this is gonna be a rough fight for Amps, actually. Getting an extra teleport here. Alright, mix him down after one extra teleport. Moo Moo making himself on the way to Tinker Knight Phase 2. And it looks like he's just doing standard judgment rushes. I have absolutely no idea where he is. Oh, he's on the platform. He's on the drill, I think. Yep, he's on the drill somewhere. He's... Okay, he's... Okay, he's doing air slashes somewhere. Alright, he's... He... He's down on the platforms below, I think. Alright, yeah, he's, he's under the threads. Yep. I s okay, he's under the threads. He has to... He has to take a rocket up there. He's somewhere. Oh, he's dead. Okay, sure. I don't know where he was, dude. Yeah, uh... That has to be real heckin' bad news to deal with if you fall off the drill and lose the rhythm with this cheat code. Yeah, he's just gonna take it slow and use just uh, judgment rush. Usually, you would use the bounding souls here to take uh, take out this boss. But looks like he, yeah, he fell fell down again. He's, yep, he uh, got crushed. Unfortunately. It's actually kind of difficult uh, if you want to restart this fight in phase two and get up there without using a, a judgment rush right back on the drill at the beginning. Because you have to do like a really short hop and then rail. And it looks like... Is he down the threads again? Where is he? Oh yeah, he's down the threads again. Oh no, he's gonna... Yeah, man, this this is rough. It looks like he's always dying <laughs> at around the same place. Uh, man. Yeah, I'd probably want to kill myself if I, have to, if I had to deal with this shit. <laughs> to be quite honest, man. This looks real rough. I think he, I think he's got it this time. He whiffed. I have no idea where. Uh, he fell down again. I think. Oh man. <laughs> all right. All right. Amps now on entering clockwork. Maybe he can catch up if Moo Moo dies a couple more times. That's looking like that's uh, mighty possible here. Oh, he whiffs behind them. Which puts him in a weird spot. He's down in the threads again. Doesn't have enough uh, juice. Oh, he... Yeah, he doesn't have enough juice to make a... Judgment again. Oh, he's on the drill. Okay, he's doing air slashes again. Gets hit by a rocket. And he's probably dead. I, maybe? Okay, he's down by the threads. I... Okay. He's gonna jump on the rockets. Oh, he actually gets up there. Oh god, he's behind him. Okay, Judgment Rush. I think he's got him. Wait, no, he gets hit. I think. Oh yeah, he gets hit. He's trying to- Oh my god, he's trying to do a Kobe. No, he dies, dude. <laughs> that was real heckin' close, dude. He almost had it. Alright, maybe... What, this is like his 10th attempt, like, at this point? Like, I don't know. Oh, he's behind them now. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he's gonna whiff that one. Alright, another rush. He can... Oh, he was, uh... Okay. I think he's got it. Okay, he's got it. Man, alright. Oof. 
That, uh, that was really stressful. <laughs> and I wasn't even playing. Alright, so we have Mumu here. Uh, I for... Yeah. Yeah, I believe he's on schedule for how much darkness he needs for this stage. Yeah, this looks right. Amps, no. Why does everyone do this? Ah. <laughs> I don't know what it is with everyone doing the dumb rail off the cylinder there. For some epic reason. People just, people just want to die. People don't know what's good for them. getting the slash off the second red there. Ooh, almost dropping through the screen there. Uh, so yeah, Pride More Keep is actually somewhat of an interesting stage here. Like, usually it's uh, one of the first stages you do with uh, the other characters, but for Spectre Knight, it's actually somewhat of a difficult stage. There's some really difficult screens that you have to deal with, like this one. That damage boost is uh, somewhat tricky. And the biggest hurdle on this stage is just making it to a boss fight with a decent amount of health. Now, Moo Moo did get some, uh, I believe he got, he got like two extra health in uh, the early stages of the run, so he'll probably be fine. And he also like got some health in the uh, middle of the stage there, so we, I think he'll be fine for uh, King Knight. But usually you, you enter King Knight with like very low health. Hits the book with the Bounding Soul. That's one of the reasons why Bounding Soul is very good uh, in this route, or for this character rather. You can hit a lot of uh, switches and things as well as uh, do a lot of damage to bosses with it. Alright, who moves fighting King okay, Knight now? That was a lot of good hits with Bounding Soul. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, nope, he got hit at the very end there. Must have been time for it. But that was still a good fight. And looks like Amps. Oh boy. Oh, almost finishes him off at the top there. Was just missing one hit. Look, look, it looks like he's doing fine on Darkness here, so as long as he times these, uh, Looks like he timed his Bounding Souls a little bit uh, too early there, so he's gonna... Alright, getting some de decent damage. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't a bad fight. He uh, saved like a billion years on Lulu on that fight. <laughs> you know, just like five minutes, I don't know. Alright, so Moo Moo going on Stranded Chip here. Uh, these rails are kind of interesting. Uh, the red ones carry you left automatically, and the blue ones uh, make you go right automatically. If you try to switch directions by jumping off of them, uh, and then trying to switch afterwards, you you uh, just simply can't. It'll just slow down instead. And we're just kind of coming up this bird thing, which is very... Oh, yeah, the background's entirely, entirely like... And it, oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> he somehow dealt with it just fine, I guess. That's cool. Oh no, a pause. Alright, so yeah, there's these switches that uh, sort of alternate where these blocks are. And on this screen, they change the color of the rails, so. But he skipped all of that and just uh, slashed the switch there and made it to the end. That slash is actually like kind of difficult to make because sometimes you'll you'll slash and you'll just la like land immediately on the rail instead of uh, going past it. I'm not. 
Okay, I don't know why Moomoo Moo was trying to kill the checkpoint there, but okay. Looks like Amps is uh, doing pretty decent time here on Ride More. Oh, he misses the bounding soul on the book and falls. I believe he's trying to jump onto the platform, but he somewhat hesitated, and then, then he just went into the hole. Unfortunately. All right, Moo Moo facing off against Stoic Knight, and I looks like he's doing all right. Oh, he missed the uh, corner hits there. Still a decent fight. Amps gets the uh, Riffin Slash. Alright, King Knight. Let's see if he can get some uh, good corner hits there. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. And platforms are kind of okay-ish. And yeah, that wasn't that bad. Uh, usually... Usually you don't want him to fall in the pit and then go back up, but he, if, he, if he does that when he only has like two hits left, then it's not like a huge deal. You see Mumu here coming up against uh, the last part of the game here, Tower 1. Which is a uh, very difficult stage, actually. At least I think so. There's a lot of uh, jank stuff on this stage. God, I can't imagine trying to do this with the stand's cursed cheat code. Alright, just does the judgment rush through there. Let's see if he goes for Crusher Skip. Yeah, he's gonna do it. Uh, ooh, that does the yeah, he's gonna slow down. <laughs> yeah, he, he messed up the beginning of it, so I think he's gonna chill for a bit. Just, uh... Gonna do the slightly slower version, which is fine. Stuff is happening on the new screen. Oh, he's getting bodied by the zombie. It's looking pretty good. Ooh, Amp's doing the spicy stuff. Where he rails on top of the bridge there at the end in order to skip the ladder. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Ah oh, man, whenever I see someone do that, sorry, it scares that out of me. Like where people, uh, some people opt to um, do a bonk off the spikes there in order to uh, go down that hole. Oh, he's doing that. Okay, yeah, you can use that bounty soul strat there. It's a very difficult to pull off there. Uh, he didn't pull off the uh, the other one where you hit the, that last switch there and then just go to the top rail. Oh, oh my god, that was so close. He almost missed the ladder grab. Alright. This final part for... Oh, he didn't... Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> you can uh, exit that screen a lot earlier on uh, Mumu's auto-scroller, but... Uh... Just taking it slow is fine, I suppose. Alright, so Black Knight. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what strat I'm going to do for here. You can do a thing where you um, loop him in the air or... Yeah, he's doing the ground fight. Okay, so... I believe if you hit him, uh, yeah, if you hit him on the ground, like, uh, three times consecutively without him moving, he'll do, like, an automatic, uh, invincible dash. And you can somewhat manipulate, like, where he's going. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's gonna take him out, but he, he's gonna go in the air, and, okay, he didn't stay in the air for too long. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that can be, uh... Our real problem if he stays in the air for an extended period amount of time. Alright, Amps finishing up strand the chip. 
is going to enter tower one here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, tower two here for Mumu, like the beginning screen, is almost entirely black, I believe. Is it? Oh yeah, it's this one. Uh, I don't know how he's going to do this, <laughs> to be quite honest. I don't know what is happening right now. Looks like he's staying in the middle and slashing the blocks. Oh, he's okay. He's doing the standard thing where he uh, goes in the corner here and just jumps. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like. Oh, really? He did that? Wait. Did he? What? He did it. Okay. He. <laughs> okay. What happened? He actually went back to the previous room and then like uh, he did a rail off the middle wall blocks in the previous room and then jumped off of them and then jumped to the top uh, elevator platform in the next room. That's what happened there. And it looks like... Okay. <laughs> That's... Okay. <laughs> he makes it on to <laughs> the elevator platform. And... He... Okay, he's gonna take the checkpoint. Alright. Alright, now on to Enchantress. Let's see what he does here. Okay, he's just gonna do this. Get some, uh, good- Oh, really? Oh, that's- Okay. Man, that was real rough. I don't think I would've gone for that. <laughs> this is kinda scary. Alright, Moo Moo on the last boss here. Uh, you should have a decent time. The sparks can tell you like exactly where you are. He's gonna try to get some uh, hits with the bounding souls here. Usually, you kind of want to jump like a little bit in the middle of the screen, then throw him out. And uh, looks like he's doing pretty well. Oh, he didn't get. You can skip one of the phases here if you get some like a bunch of hits at a certain point, but. Yeah, he's not going to be able to skip the last phase here. But he's pretty low health on this last one. He just needs to finish it. And... Oh, there you go. It's time for Moomoo. 46-30. Oh, yeah, he went over estimate. Dude, what the heck? I can't believe this. I don't think I would even... I, would, I don't think I would have even put that out if he didn't mention it in the chat. So, good job, Mumu. Can't believe this. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so Amps, I, it looks like he wanted to do the air fight, but he, um, he hit Black Knight while he was doing his ground pound accidentally, now he's fighting him on the ground. And Terrapin was in a really bad position when he was uh, on the ground, so now he has to deal with with him blocking him. Oh, nice! You got, <laughs> you got that lucky hit there with the uh, bounding. So, oh my goodness! He only has one hit left. Oh Jesus! Please, just finish this. Oh no! Just do some Kobe's, my dude. Yo, we got him. Amp's making his way to the last stage now. So now you'll be able to see how he actually beat this room without, like, much of a big deal, really. As long as you get the beginning of it correctly, then the rest is uh, pretty easy to deal with. As long as you're able to reach the top. And he does. So just jump there, whenever the blocks head towards you. Then do a damage boost. Okay, he's gonna do... Ooh, he didn't get the... Uh... Okay, he's fine, he's just gonna do this. Just gonna do the room normally. Yeah, the... If you actually go too much to the left in the wall when doing that threat, you actually bonk, and then you're stuck waiting for the blocks to try to go for you all over again. 
which is a real bad place to be. Alright. Jandrus. As long as you get a decent start here, it's uh, not a really terrible fight. It looks like... Got some decent hits, in, but yeah, he. Oh no! Ah, uh, why would you do? Oh my goodness! Okay, that's some really risky stuff. I would not go for Enchantress when she's that has that much health, but it still worked out for him in the end. <laughs> Alright, let's see what kind of hits he gets here in the. Uh... Looks like he threw really light. Yeah, he whiffed a lot of those. Unfortunately. Oh, he skips one face. At least. Oh, he might. He's in a good position to skip the last race here if he makes some good plays. And ooh, he sli yeah, he slashed him. Unfortunately. The possibility was there. It's looking like there it is. All right, cool. So good stuff from uh, both of our racers here, hanging in there to the, to the very end, even though they went overestimate. I'm not mad at all. That's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. Sure. <laughs> that, I feel like he, that, that was kind of on you for not trusting, for trusting her. Going. Whatever it is, well, I trust Lori! How dare I trust Lori? <laughs> that, I feel like he, that, that was kind of on you for not trusting, oh, for trusting good. her. Going. Uh, well, yeah. lesson learned. How dare I trust Lori? Yeah, you're back on stream, by the way. Oh, good. Oof. Hi, I trusted uh, Lori. Hello. Hi, What's Tolu. Up? What's up, gamer? Do you guys think you can just go ever estimate? Mm. Do, do you guys think you can just do that? Listen. Here. Okay, 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 okay. Listen here, Tolu. I challenge you to the uh, a plague any percent race. Okay. Okay, you're in. Oh, all right, all right. motherfucker! <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you think you are? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe the floor with you with invisible plague. <laughs> that, that's not even the thing, is it? Yes, it is. Wait, fuck! I didn't is, know that. Is it a thing? Wait, I didn't know it was a thing. Are you sure you're? You're just making that up, dude. I'm not making that up. The I'm not doing show it this to me right now. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I think you're making that up, dude. Let me let me just say real quick, uh, 420 sucks. Um, Tinker Knight sucks. Uh, what else? Uh, Black Knight was okay. Yo, the elevator Look, though, the elevator was terrifying. I actually got the um, the elevator skip, and then I was like so hyped, and I was like, wait a second, I have to do the rest of this without being able to see, or I go back to the beginning. <clears throat> okay, so we have to set up pretty quickly because yeah, Plague Knight's happening in like three more minutes. Everyone oh, yeah. at Breadpan. Also, thank you, Amps, for uh, covering for David on that one. Uh, yeah, thanks for letting me go. Let me lose ten minutes to my PB. No problem. <laughs> Shout out to your boy Amps. Hey, I got I got a D Russ's category. <laughs> that was rough. <sighs> but yeah, as usual. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back, hopefully.